Hello and uh, welcome back to another uh, cleaning tutorial. This time we're looking at the Mattel uh, Intellivision from uh, 1971. This is the Model 1. Um, this one is uh, not working so uh, hopefully a good cleaning will uh, sort that out. There's also a couple of things that it's missing. Uh, it doesn't have the um, on-off switch. Uh, the actual button that goes on top of here is missing. Uh, Apart from that, it seems to be uh, uh, in fairly good condition, got some nooks and uh, scrapes here. So uh, we're going to take this thing apart and uh, see what we can find on the inside. So first thing we do is flip this over. Now the controllers themselves are uh, hardwired, but they're also loose. So you know, just keep your thumbs there while you're flipping it around. and. Uh, like so, and it's going to have uh, six screws, um, two on the side and uh, uh, four in the corners here, so I'm just going to take that out. Like so, and I forgot to mention, but these are just uh, standard uh, Phillips uh, screws, um, so just a you know, standard Phillips screwdriver will get the job done. Uh, next thing we do is take the lid off and you'll see the controllers are housed in there. However, you just slide those out like so and uh, you're left with the uh, top case which uh, you know we can just uh, toss in water and uh, give some good cleaning. Um, the Intellivision is a little too big for my uh, basket over there but I'll just put it over there and uh, give it a nice clean later on. So you got the actual controllers uh, right here. And uh, as you can see, they're all hardwired. Uh, everything's connected. So first thing we're going to do is take off this uh, plastic uh, uh, inlay here. Uh, this is basically where the controllers would be uh, resting when uh, everything's put up. Um, and I actually see one of the problems, most likely why this thing doesn't work, is you can see right here that the cord's kind of uh, uh, torn. And, uh, you know, that's a problem uh, with these machines since uh, basically, you know, if, you know, any, any part that uh, comes loose is pretty much uh, dead. You have to replace the whole thing. Um, so... Not the best design ever. There we go. So uh, that's another uh, plastic piece. We'll just put that in here. And uh, now you can see a little bit more of the uh, insides here. So uh, next thing we're going to do is take the uh, power switch over here and loosen that up. It has two screws. And uh, these screws are a little bit smaller than uh, the screws that uh, we've been taking apart so far. Uh, and uh, they're actually the smallest screws in the entire set here. Uh, if you don't count the controllers itself, but we're, we're going to look into that later on. So that takes care of that. Um, so. Um, also, I forgot to mention, but this is actually nested underneath right here. So, uh, just to show you without the power button, uh, cord is right here, and then the uh, power button sits on top of that, basically locking this in place underneath it. So, take that out, and uh, you can loosen up everything over here. Like so, and uh, right here is uh, the actual power board, so we're going to take that out as well. It's got two screws uh, on the sides, and uh, these are um, a little bit smaller than the first screws, so just make a note of that, and we can also Take the transformer here, 
These four screws are going to be the same. The transformer has uh, two screws holding it in place, uh, one on either side. So you just uh, take that out. So, and now everything is loose, so uh, we're going to take all the pieces out and uh, you'll see right here where the uh, uh, transformer is connected up to uh, the power supply, so we're just going to gently take that apart, just uh, pull it straight out, like so. And, uh, well, there's uh, one problem right there. So this thing just uh, fell out, so we're going to try and put that back on again. Um, seems to be just a piece of plastic, but I'm not entirely sure what that does, but we're going to put it back on. Um, we also got a power supply here. Uh, this ribbon right here, you got to be very careful with. Uh, that is very delicate thing, but you just take it straight up. It's got uh, five little uh, pins right here that goes into these holes. And uh, you got another connector over here, so take that out. And you are left with the power board and uh, some uh, protective uh, cardboard underneath it. Now we got the power supply coming out and uh, everything is hardwired so we're just going to take the power cord and pull that out here like so and uh, put that on one side over here and then now we can lift this entire board out and you can see where the controllers are connected uh, right here with the pins. So we're just going to take those out as well. Like so. And now you have uh, the actual uh, brains of the uh, system. Um, unfortunately, the way that they did this in 1979 was they basically just soldered the whole thing um, on top of here, which is a pain to get off. Uh, hopefully we won't have to uh, do that. Hopefully we can just uh, get some air going in here. Uh, just looks like it's dusty. So we're just going to blow some compressed air in there. And uh, hopefully that'll uh, do the trick. Um, if you needed to pry this off, um, what you would do is uh, take like a small flathead screwdriver, take it into every one of these soldering points and just kind of, uh, you know, rip it apart. Uh, problem with that obviously is uh, you now have two loose components in there. So hopefully we won't have to do that. So we're just going to put that on the side and then obviously right here we've got a uh, very filthy uh, bottom tray. A lot of dust and uh, stuff in there, so we're not going to throw that in because I, I do like the, uh, you know, the little stickers that we have on the back here. So I'm not going to toss that in the water. I want to try to preserve those, um, especially since it uh, tells you a number here. You can call for technical support, so don't think that worked. We're just going to put that on the floor and then uh, focus our attention on the controllers. So, put this on the side over here and uh, you'll see that the controller has uh, four screws on the back. So we're going to take that up. And uh, Again, it's just uh, Phillips uh, screw heads. Um, and these are extremely tiny, so, uh, you know, it's very intuitive where all the screws go when you're putting this back together again. So we're just going to take 
this apart. like so and then now you can lift this up it has a little connector right there so you just wiggle that out and uh, this is pure plastic so we're gonna throw that in there you've got the button itself with the uh, spring uh, basically just sits like that and uh, you know that's all there is to it really um, so we're gonna Take these out and then uh, just toss them in the water as well. And then we've got the uh, um, actual component here, so we'll just wiggle that out. So, and the uh, buttons will, uh, side buttons will kind of come out, you just get, have to slowly but surely get it out of there. So we'll put the buttons in the water as well, and uh, you have these two little O-rings, so we're just going to put those on the side, and this is basically what the controller looks like. It's basically just a circuit board wrapped in plastic and that's all there is to it. So uh, we're gonna put that on the side over here then you've got the actual top piece where the uh, cord comes in. You can just wiggle that out and then there you go. And now this can uh, go in the water as well. Um, and we have the cord itself right here, which, you know, I do believe is busted. Since, uh, to show you here, that's not a good sign. So, but we're going to clean it up, see if, uh, if it uh, fixes anything and come back to that later. So for now, we're just going to put that over there and then do the exact same thing with the controller too. So there we go. Uh, everything has now been uh, taken apart, so we're going to use some compressed air on uh, the electronics, clean that up uh, as best as we can, and uh, clean up the plastic and uh, put it back together again, and hopefully uh, we'll have a, a working machine. Okay, so uh, everything has been uh, properly uh, cleaned and uh, now we're just having to play the waiting game, wait for everything to dry up um, and then we'll uh, put it back together again. So uh, I will see you then. Okay, so uh, this has been uh, drying overnight, so we're going to put everything back together again. And uh, we'll start by the controllers here, so we'll just put that out of the way. So, first thing that we want to do is take the cords and uh, I uh, did some uh, minor uh, replacement uh, of this right here. This is the one that was uh, kind of uh, wonky. So, uh, just try to fix that as, uh, you know, best I could. So, we're just going to uh, Slide that in to this opening right here. Um, you will see that there's two pegs right here and uh, two holes in this. And uh, those just kind of fit together like so. There we go. There we go. 
and then uh, take the cord and uh, just wiggle that into its space right next to it. So there we go. Just slide that all the way in. There we are. And then uh, we'll uh, take the uh, mechanical parts, the sleeves. Uh, we need to put the two spacers in between this like a sandwich. Like so. And then uh, this little uh, hole right here is going to go uh, into that peg right there. So we'll just line that up and then uh, slide these sleeves in. Like so. Make sure that everything is properly aligned. And then we're going to take the uh, side buttons and uh, put those in as well. So, and uh, just to show you here, um, there's a little center uh, piece right there. And uh, they made this very easy. You can see that there's a track uh, going through the middle there. If we flip that around, you'll see that it's been closed off. So this basically just slides into that little spacer right there, like so. Um, if we were to try to put that on the other end, it's not going to go in. So, you know, it's very easy. Uh, you basically can't go wrong with the, the side buttons. So we'll just slide that in there and then take the other side and put that over here, like so. And then we uh, take the spring, just to fix this alignment a little bit. There we go. And then uh, take the spring, the button, and then the uh, top piece, which we will just slide on top like so. Like so. And then we're going to do the same with the other one. There we go. So uh, now both of the uh, controllers are assembled. So we're going to take out the bottom piece here and start putting stuff together. And uh, we're going to start with the power supply. And uh, we're just going to line things up now as to sort of where they need to go. There we go. And uh, we'll just screw this in place. There we go. And then uh, take the actual power board and uh, just uh, line the holes up with the bottom right there. And uh, slide that over. Like so. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put that down as well. Like so. And then uh, just slide this cable onto these plugs right here. There we are. And then take uh, this piece right here and uh, we're going to attach the controllers back onto this before we slide it back in here. And uh, they go at the bottom right here. So uh, let's put that right there for now. And we'll get these out. So let's see which goes where. So yes. Now as to how it's all connected, um, you'll see that there's a white uh, cable on this end and a black cable 
or brown cable um, on the other end. The white cable goes to the left uh, when this is facing down. So the white cable will uh, be pointed towards you, like so. And uh, that also goes for the other side. So we're going to put that back into its place. So uh, white goes towards yourself. Like so. So we're going to uh, slide that in. And uh, you can see here it's got some uh, tracks. Those will fit onto these uh, blocks right here. So we're just going to slide that in. There we go. And uh, I'm uh, sorry that I uh, am sniffling. I'm getting a cold today, I think. Um, but we're going to take that out of way here, just move that a little. And uh, right next to it here we've got a plug that we're going to put into the power uh, board here, slide that in. Now we got this ribbon and again you have to be very careful when you're using this. So we're just going to gently slide that into its socket right here. Uh, basically this is where all the information travels. So. If you screw this up, then the whole machine is busted pretty much. So, like so. And then we're going to take the cables. And uh, this just uh, wraps around this uh, resistor right here. So we're going to line that up. And then uh, this cord goes over on this end and uh, underneath the power supply or uh, not the power supply but the power switch so now that we've got that in place we can take this and uh, put that back down here like so and then uh, we're gonna take this uh, tray for the controllers just pop that in and uh, the tray's got two grooves, one on this end and one on this end. And it uh, doesn't matter which way you put it down, it's going to be, you know, identical regardless. So just put that on top. And then uh, screw that in place with the six screws here. And this will also tighten down the uh, circuit board like so and then uh, we're going to uh, take the top piece which is over here and then uh, we're going to slide that over this and just take the control pads and put those through here there we are I actually forgot to line this up first. Um, you have these little blocks that'll just nestle next to these grooves that I showed you earlier. And uh, they're just going to keep this in place in the tray like so. There we go. And then we can just slide this over. Make sure we don't trap any of the cords here. And then we'll flip this whole thing over. And uh, put in the last couple of screws. There we go. And flip that over again. And uh, put the uh, controllers into its uh, trays here. There we go. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, we're going to take this and see if it uh, works now. Um, and uh, see you then. Okay, so uh, here we are. We're going to test uh, this one, see if it works. Uh, got my uh, old one over here, which uh, as you can see doesn't have the buttons. Um, you know, it's actually not as good looking as this and I can easily switch the power button over here uh, if this thing works so hopefully it does because uh, I'd like to uh, change this for uh, that one uh, but anyways uh, most people don't know um, well if you are into Intellivision you'll know but most people that get a hand on one of these and don't know how it works is gonna hook it up you know and uh, hit the on switch and they're gonna get a black screen so you can see here and uh, you know that's it uh, the reason for that is you actually do need a game you need a cartridge um, to put in here and that'll actually uh, uh, connect the circuit it's, uh, it's going to complete it so without a game in there it's not gonna work so let's see if we can do this one-handed and offhand it. Uh, maybe. So, uh, there we go, I think. I think that's good enough. So, we're gonna try. There we go. Let's see if the game works. We're gonna do one player. Oh, yeah. So that actually works. So uh, I am going to uh, take this one for myself. And uh, thank you for watching.